Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Deborah here, back to discuss some more crazy behavior from the crazy world of Meghan Markle. And today we're going to look at why she loves using kids as props. I mean, let's face it, everyone in the Meghan show is either a supporting character, an extra or a prop. And she has the main role, of course. She has to be loved, adored, and admired by everyone, as dictated by her narcissism. But why is she so obsessed with showing us how much children love her when they obviously don't? <laughs> Simple, because she is constantly cosplaying Diana. But what Meghan hasn't understood yet is that Diana genuinely loved kids. She worked as a nursery teacher's assistant and nanny before marrying into the royal family. She knew how to connect with kids and she was generous with her time and affection. So kids loved her too. It is not the case with Meghan. Her interactions with kids are fake, cringy and awkward as her interactions with most people are. But her inappropriate behavior and fashion choices are even more shocking when children are involved. So why doesn't she just use her own children as props? Why does she hide her own kids yet prey on everyone else's? Simple again, because she can't let us see how incompetent she is with her own kids. I mean, come on, how could she possibly preach to us peasants about how to raise kids and present herself as Superman of the Year if we can all clearly see with our own eyes that she's just not good at it? And hey, we don't all have to be supermums. We can be a good parent in many different ways. But Megan has written the script of her life as a mum and she's not going to have any goddamn brat undermine the role she's given herself. And this is her biggest mistake. You know how we say, if you do a job that you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Well, Megan hates kids. It's hard work pretending to connect with kids, especially her own. That's why she only has an hour of her week to spend on Archwell. She's exhausted with being fake because Megan is only interested in herself. And it is so hard trying to pretend to connect with others, especially children. As a working member of the royal family, she suffered more natural public appearances and was accordingly criticized because there's nothing natural about me, me, Megan and she's not maternal. After her freedom flight, she tried more coordinated appearances, you know, like the strange hike that she went on, where I hope to God that that was a doll inside her baby carrier, because if that was real Archie that she had flapping around inside, strapped to her chest, with his legs and his limbs flailing everywhere. I mean, God help the poor child. Then she tried using Archie as a more scripted prop. Do you remember that awkward uh, interaction where she was reading him the story? Duck rabbit. I mean, how ridiculous was that? Because Archie didn't stick to the script and Megan couldn't cope with it. Again, Megan is only interested in herself, her own image. So when Archie doesn't follow script and he doesn't want to read her goddamn stupid book, he wants to read another book or he wants to just like, you know, do what kids do and like chew on the page or something. She can't cope with it. The mask slips are unbelievable. And at the end, when Archie clearly says, da, 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 and she looks straight at the camera with her psychotic eyes and tries to convince of all that is all that he said, duck rabbit, she shows how evil she is, that she can't have 
Harry outdoing her in the role of being the best parent in the world. Duck rabbit. So now she's resorted to the only thing she can do in order to monetize Diana's grandchildren and their royal titles. She uses her kids as props in paid and edited reality TV shows and everyone else's kids are unpaid and edited props relentlessly clawed and hugged as her role as Superman is as fictional as her claims of being bullied. But the more she repeats it, the more it becomes true. And as parents, as a mother, as a mother, being a, a mom is the most important thing in my entire life. Sure, Jan.